Well, hello people. You know that feeling of excitement when what you ordered online arrives at your home or office? You receive the box, hardly able to contain yourself. I mean, you had already paid online and now the product has arrived at your doorstep. You open the box and boom, disappointment. Maybe it was a dress you had planned to slay in or an equipment you had already seen yourself using or even a, a cake or a box of small chops. Whatever it is, it causes your enthusiasm to drop. Hmm. Well, you know it. This is WTS, WGS, and I am Mafeng Kim. What actually happened in that scene above is this. Disappointment. And it comes every day. In different shapes, different shades, and different sizes. Things don't always amount to what you expect, and you wonder why. Now, regardless of the what, the why, or the purpose for which you got disappointed, the underlying factor is one. Man is fallible, including you. That means that man can fail, and actually fails lots of times. What hurts in what I ordered versus what I got situations are your expectations. Expectations hurt, especially when wrongly placed. Stop expecting men to do for you or to be for you what only God can do or be. You see, you got disappointed in the first place because your expectations were either not in line with the word of God or not in line with God's will for your life at that time or you simply relied on men for your outcome. James 4 verse 13 says, Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that it may consume it upon your lusts. The New Living Translation puts it like this. And even when you do ask, you don't get it because your whole motive is wrong. You only want what will give you pleasure. You say, but I am delayed. My mates have advanced. I'm not supposed to be here. But based on whose calendar are you saying these things? Who told you that you were late? Have you asked God what he thinks? Have you asked him where he wants you? My cell leader said something. He said, the safest place to be is the last place of instruction till another one comes. So remain there. Then you might say, I know God wants this for me. He said such and such to me. The word has gone forth concerning me. Well, the Bible also says, that the vision is for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. The Message Bible says, and it doesn't lie, it will come right on time. Doesn't it seem like a paradox? First he says, wait. Then he says, it's not going to delay. So it seems you don't have to wait at all. What does that mean? It means that when it is time, it is time and nobody can stop it. Don't be tempted to think that God scammed you. He has a track record. He has not yet failed. And he's not about to start now. It may not feel like it right now, but choose to trust him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Anything else you try to use to fill up that void results in hurt, disillusionment, and disappointment. It's like trusting men for affirmation, for validation, love, trust, and even financial emancipation. Whatever you need, real and complete healing can only come from the one who knows every situation inside out. The thing is, the arm of flesh shall fail. Even the young man shall fail. I mean, their strength fails, right? We get tired. It's not a matter of if, but of when. So man left purely to his own devices is fallible. That is, prone to failure. 
some have been faced with disappointment so many times that they don't even try anymore they feel they've been hurt too deeply my pastor said your imaginative ability is your creative power don't let disappointment rob you of the will to dream of the will to advance of the will to want what god wants for you maybe the last time you did it wrong determine that this time you get it right maybe you did all you knew to do and it still didn't amount to your expectations put it behind you hard as it may seem and forge ahead it's time to renew what you see don't lose inspiration the devil wants you discouraged and broken refuse to remain there and we know that all things work together for good to them that love god and who are called according to his purpose romans 8:28 the bible written for our learning and comfort is packed with testimonies of god's faithfulness his steadfastness so lean into it keep speaking these things into being pray them till you see them come to pass no that he will not fail you Paul speaking to Timothy in 1 Timothy verse chapter 1 verse 18 and he said This charge I commit unto you son Timothy according to the prophecies which went on before thee that thou may by them war a good warfare Those prophecies given you are for you to war with not question them argue with them or doubt them How do you war with them in the place of prayer human beings were designed to pray the bible says men ought always to pray luke 18 verse 1 in the message bible says jesus told them a story showing them that it was necessary for them to pray consistently and never quit you cannot grow with your walk in christ if you don't pray brethren it is time for warfare it is time to pray Hallelujah. Thank you so much for listening till the very end. I hope you were blessed. You know where to find us. WTS WGS. What they say versus what God says on Spotify, Radio Public, YouTube, Anchor, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast and the Stitcher app. Please share with everyone you know. You never know who might need it. and then subscribe to the channel while you're at it thank you thank you thank you bye